Hi guys, Chris again. And on this video, we're gonna talk about why you should almost always choose a larger, slower SSD over a smaller, faster SSD. And it's not, even if, even if uh, price isn't an issue. Um, so we have the two different types of SSDs, 2.5 SATA, generally limited to about 500 megabytes a second, and NVMe M.2, which can in some cases go up to around 14,000 megabytes a second. Um, they have mostly equalized in price now. It's sometimes more common to see a larger one of these at an affordable price, but they have gotten pretty close to the same at this point. That didn't used to be the case, but it is now. Um, so the reason why I would say almost always go with a larger, slower SSD is because if your baseline of performance is, say, Windows boots at 30 seconds, 25 seconds, or your game loads in, say, 30 seconds, do you really care if Windows goes from booting in 30 seconds down to, say, 10 or 15 seconds, but suddenly you can't store all your games on that super fast, smaller SSD. Um, same thing with your game. Okay, so, so your game goes from, uh, from loading in, I don't know, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, down to loading in, say, 10 or 15 seconds. But once your game is running, it doesn't affect it. I mean, come on, are you gonna take, store five of your games, four of your games, or your entire Steam library? Come on. I mean, personally, I have a big Steam library. I think most of you have pretty big Steam libraries. So, you know. Um, now, there is one exception to this that would lead me to go with a faster, smaller SSD, and that's only in a circumstance where I simply have almost nothing to store. If I have almost nothing to store, then I'm gonna get the fastest SSD I can. If, like, especially if it's like, say, just a content consumption device, something like that, where the convenience of turning it on really fast, you know, being able to manipulate, you know, software opening fast, that kind of thing, and that's the only thing I'm gonna use it for, in that case, I would go with that faster SSD. But at least in my experience, um, I don't think I've ever come up to a situation where smaller and faster was a more ideal scenario than larger and slower. I hope you guys find this to be interesting. I hope this helps somebody make a decision, and thanks for watching the video.